hello programmers in today's class i'm going to explain you consolidate option of open office calc and for this i have taken two sheets this is test one sheet and this is test two sheet uh, in test one i have the result for a uh, few students and uh, there are five subjects i have calculated the total of these five subjects in this sheet one in sheet 2, I have named the sheet as test 2, where I have um, uh, given marks, I have stored the marks for uh, these students only, for 5 subjects and the total of these marks. And in last sheet, I am going to calculate the uh, total of these two sheets, that is, I will consolidate the data. For example, if Akhilesh has scored 78 marks in accountancy in test 1 and 67 marks in accountancy in test 2 here I'll get the total of these two uh, marks so how how I will do this for this I'll go to my sheet 1 I will select the range first and I will uh, give this range a name I will give it as T1 for test 1 and the same way I'll go to test 2 select the range and then I will give it a name as T2 enter so this way I've given name to uh, both the range now I'll go to total where I want the consolidate result I'll go to data and then I will select consolidate option from here. now uh, these two options are there uh, these two ranges are there I'm going to delete it I will select the uh, function which I want to do. Uh, I want to calculate the sum. That's why I'll select the sum from this drop down. And then I'm going to add the range here. How I will add? I will select the data uh, source data range. And then this is the range I have um, saved. And I have clicked on this add to add it in this consolidation range. I will select another range and then I will click on this add so this way I have added the range in this consolidation ranges uh, text field so by clicking on this add selecting the range you can do it manually also how you can shrink here and then you'll you can go to the sheet you can select the range and then this way you can select it manually instead of giving the name so this way you can give the range and then I will click on the on the cell where I want the result copy result to and then I want the result to be displayed in this A2 so I have selected this so this is A2 now I will click on this more and then I want the row label also and the column label also so I will check these uh, check boxes I have checked this also this is linked to source data what is this I'll explain you I have to check this also and then click on ok so uh, this is the consolidated data of these two sheets let us see this uh, Akhilesh has scored 78 in this and 67 78 plus 67 if I calculate 78 plus 67 that is 145 and as you can see I have got 145 as my result now if I change this is 145 if I change one of the result for example instead of 78 if I make it as 70 so this was 145 it has changed to 137 and this is possible uh, only that uh, through that link to uh, you can see this when I click on this consolidate more this is because of link to source data so when you check this that means whatever uh, uh, changes you do in any of the sheet it will be reflected in your final sheet this way you can do you can consolidate the data you can select any function from here you can calculate average max min uh, I'll show you one more I'll take a new sheet here after current sheet and then my total is selected so after this uh, I'll get uh, a sheet 4 okay let it be sheet 4 only I'll select the place where I want the result I will go to data and then consolidate 
as the ranges are selected i'm not going to delete it i want uh, these ranges only and i will select the function as average this time now i want the result to be displayed in uh, this sheet 4 so i will shrink and then i will say this sheet 4 a2 that means you have to click on the cell where you want the result i want the result in my sheet 4 a2 now when you click on this more you have to check all these check boxes and then click on ok so this is coming as 68.5 let us check it uh, it was uh, 137 when we divide 137 divided by 2 this comes as 68.5 and we are getting 68.5 that means this is the average of marks of test 1 and test 2 this way you can use any uh, function uh, from that drop down and then you can consolidate your data so that's all for today's class we'll meet in next class till then bye bye take care